Hi everyone. This is the frequently asked question, how do I use the Duff and Phelps Navigator inside the valuation software? It's July of 2018 and Duff and Phelps has produced their Navigator. It's a website where you can estimate the cost of capital. The software uses this selection of a cost of capital model from the Duff and Phelps Navigator in the following manner. So the paradigm in the past has always been let's have all of the data available inside of the valuation software. That's no longer possible with the Duff and Phelps Navigator. But they do provide an export file, an Excel file export that we can go out and grab and bring in. The issue is, is that we have to know where it is. On a screen where you can bring in the information, up on top there's a navigator button. You can click it or you can go straight away to the database workspace and get into the cost of capital navigator. There are four steps that are involved. They are listed down the left hand side. You need to remember uh, that the software only calculates an equity value. So not all of the models available inside of the Duff and Phelps navigator are, are in sync with where the, the valuation software calculates. So keep in mind, we can use under the crisp deciles, both the cap M plus size and the buildup will work. Under the risk premium report, the cap M plus size, the buildup one and the buildup three will work. The rest of the models cannot be imported into the software. Also remember that there are multiple scenarios that can be created under each of the methods and the user has to choose which scenario to use. For example, two crisp buildup scenarios, one with the spot rate and one with the normalized rate, can be created in the Duff and Phelps Navigator, and the user has to choose which scenario they want to import. So let's go through the steps now. When I click on step one, I press start. That will take me over to the Duff and Phelps website. I can use their login and get the information. I recommend you watch the video Cost of Capital Navigator Case Study on YouTube. I'll try to put a link down below. At the end of this process, you will generate a file and that file will be placed on your hard drive. In my case, that file is called summary.xls in my downloads folder. I need to remember where that file is because in step two, I have to open or point the program to that particular file. So you can tell that I went to my downloads folder and that summary file is inside of here. When I press open, I will see the file path. That means that the software is going to look to that Excel file and read it and pull the information out of it into my project file inside of the valuation software. Underneath step three, I get to select my scenarios. So under the crisp data, most people will choose the buildup. If I only want to bring in one scenario, that's fine. I do not have to select the rest of the scenarios. However, I can select all of the scenarios if I want to and then use the assumptions inside of the project file to toggle between them. So for instance, I can bring in a cap M scenario I can bring in the buildup risk premium scenario for guideline portfolios. I can bring in a buildup regression model where the regression equations inside of the cost of capital navigator are being used. I can also use the cap M approach with both the guideline portfolio process and the regression process. And then we still have the ability to look at the operating margins. Again, there's the three guideline portfolios and the three regression equations after that. To get the data into my project file, I've pointed the file, I've pointed the program to the file download, I've selected at least one scenario, and now in step four, when I click analysis, it will draw the information from that file into the project file in the valuation software. I see download is complete here, I press OK. When I go back into the project file, if I'm using the risk premium report data, there's a Duff and Phelps cost of capital schedule here, and you can tell that the portfolio is showing up here, the regression line is showing up down here, 
and I make my selections up on top. That will work for all three scenarios, the buildup, the cap M, and the operating margin. If I were to use just a buildup model, and I'm going to go to the cap of earnings approach, I can choose buildup or I can choose cap M. Most people are using a buildup model, so I will leave it selected there. I can choose in my income methods to use the risk premium report, or I can choose to use the CRISP data. Most people are using the Duff and Phelps CRISP data at this point. So I click on those two items. When I go to my capitalization rate schedule, you can tell that the data has been imported. Obviously, I'm not using real numbers from the Duff and Phelps Navigator. This is just an example. That's how you get the information from the Duff and Phelps Cost of Capital Navigator into a value source software project file. Thank you.